right. Uh, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here with you guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, nighttime economy. So uh, we've been working in this field since one year already. I, I would like also if you will have an opportunity and the chance after a couple of drinks to talk to us, uh, also introduce my team here. I would like to thank all the guys from the uh, Tbilisi uh, Startup Bureau and all our uh, uh, whoever is involved in to tonight's uh, event, uh, and uh, thank you very much for this interest. I just want to uh, remind you what, what is nighttime economy. So nighttime economy is uh, very simply uh, every activity from 8 to 8, from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., every economical activity in this uh, time. Definitely it's not industry, it's not uh, car making, we don't have any industry right now, but Anyways, but uh, everything w which is connected to the night, uh, clubbing, theaters, transportation, uh, urban projects, uh, multimedia projects, it can be all nighttime and for sure al also uh, gastronomy uh, and uh, whatever we like to do uh, at night. Some of the people like to work at night, so this is also uh, part of the nighttime economy because we've been thinking also a lot uh, about uh, startups which are developing right now in, and growing in Georgia since the uh, last couple of years and uh, most of these guys are working at night and sometimes they need to go down to, to have some beer or to grab some sandwiches. So this is a nighttime economy. Uh, as you know, uh, probably um, a nighttime economy project was announced last year, so uh, March this year it will be one year. Uh, it is a part of the uh, general program of the uh, mayor of the city, so that's why he asked us to join, and uh, we've been doing this, uh, um, frankly speaking, with great enthusiasm and great in uh, interest. Uh, I just want to give you very briefly what we've managed to do uh, since this uh, 11 months. Uh, yeah, oh. So uh, the first year was quite interesting. We started with a couple of uh, troubles. You remember uh, the 12th of May, most probably. Uh, but this was not the, the we, we were not expecting that. So majorly we, we were thinking about um, studying the subject first of all, and we did a lot of research. We met a lot of people, we had a lot of conversations with diff different people. I, I would uh, mention that uh, nearly 30 cities uh, are uh, in included in this nighttime economy project right now, and most of them are very successful. I, I would mention London, Berlin, but also Vilnius and so smaller cities, uh, cities like Bristol, for instance, uh, and we had the possibility to meet these guys. And uh, street music festival, we implemented night bus uh, pilot project, which is very successful, by the way. We had very good statistics, and uh, we're going to do that on permanent base right now, so since next uh, next week, basically. Uh, and definitely the first international nighttime economy forum, which uh, took place here in Tbilisi. We had here very important, very uh, interesting guys, uh, starting from Mirik Milan, who was the first nighttime mayor of Amsterdam, uh, nighttime mayors from Vilnius, from Nantes, uh, from Bristol, we had some people. And uh, it was a very interesting, uh, you know, kind of educational for us also. And we, we've changed a lot uh, in our visions uh, since that nighttime forum. I will mention that. Uh, we need to meet people here. You know, we, we, I, I had nearly 300 people uh, in this time, we, uh, people coming not only for the nighttime economy, but we understand that uh, people simply need communication with the city council. And sometimes people come, switch their projects to nighttime but actually they need uh, to develop their projects, they need somebody to talk, and uh, for some reasons they decide to talk to us, and uh, this is one of the major parts of our work that we are doing at the uh, city council. But not only in the city council, we meet people all over the city. Uh, we meet also people from, uh, from local governments, uh, because without them uh, it's not possible to do anything, and uh, it's very important that actually our team is very small and it consists of people working already in the city council, and I would like to mention that there are very skilled young people there and they are helping a lot us. Um, yes, and uh, we definitely uh, 
provide advisory support for late night events such as Night Theater, if you've ever heard about that. Um, Wine City, which is Huinis uh, Kalaki, you know, and we, we cooperate with them a lot. And also Electrowerk, which helped us a lot, wi especially during the uh, Nighttime Economy Forum. And we had a parallel festival, first pers festival, uh, which is called a new on and this is a festival only for Georgian acts, so only for new material. So it took place in Electrowerk, it's a new brownfield uh, in the city and uh, I, I know that we, we managed to help them a lot because people start to go to this place which was not in the city, uh, city center. So what we're going to do next uh, this year and uh, after the I mentioned already the forum, we decide to focus on three major, uh, so to say, um, directions. The first direction, uh, we call it the communicator. Uh, the second one, night lab, and Pilisi unites. So I will just explain very shortly what it is. Uh, the communicator, I already mentioned, we need communication. People don't know what is nighttime economy, and they we need to explain what it is sometimes. But also we need to sometimes mediate between different parts uh, of the you know of the society of uh, of Tbilisi. For instance, in cases when there are some troubles between clubs and police. Uh, when there are troubles between citizens uh, and uh, um, restaurateurs, for instance, uh, because of the noise pollution. Um, but also, you know, just providing some help to find uh, investors, sometimes to find cooperation. Uh, this is one of the things that we want to also do next year, this year, 2019. Night lab. This is actually, uh, I, I mentioned already our new friends from uh, the Tbilisi um, Startup Bureau. Uh, we understand that the interest uh, towards hackathons, creatons, and this kind of events is growing. At least two articles I've read today, all the different types of this kind of events are uh, taking uh, place right now in, in Georgia, in Tbilisi especially. And uh, we decide that we want to support people financially, not simply by words, but also by financially, we want to support people with good ideas, with creative ideas, with technical ideas, and uh, to provide uh, a new platform for that and regularly give them opportunity to participate in competitions, in hackathons, and so th this is going to happen in, uh, we will start in March this year, this is going to happen on 14th, 15th, and 16th in uh, Ruinis uh, Kalaki. So please come and join us because it's going to be amazing, I'm pretty sure. And I'm hoping that we will have some very good ideas about applications, about websites, about new businesses. Because the main idea of the nighttime economy is to develop micro and middle type of businesses in, in Tbilisi. So this is uh, Night Lab. Uh, and Tbilisi unites. So actually it's like Tbilisi... Shendak uh, and but they also unites. So the idea is that we, we thought like Tbilisi, you know, the uh, generally the idea of of being united is uh, today a little bit kind of complicated. We are not united actually, right? The we know that Georgia is not united. We are split because of politicians, but we want to unite people during the night. And for that reasons, we understand, and the especially the last two, three years, are showing us that people from different, of different values, of uh, different religions, of from different countries are coming to Tbilisi, young people mostly. They are having fun together, uh, thinking of Basiani, Hidi, etc. And it's growing. A lot of young people are coming to the city just because of the, uh, of the clubbing. So we think that we, we need to support this, this whole idea. But also to unite, uh, you know, uh, the different types of uh, uh, cultural events, uh, genres. This is going to be another thing. And we are planning to, and helping right now, to develop a very interesting uh, new project, which is called Digital Tbilisi. It's a uh, kind of uh, cooperation between Tbilisi and Nantes. Na Nantes is uh, our partner city, and they have experience in this. And uh, this summer, I think we will have this uh, very interesting, huge, big festival. 
but also Felicity could be a good place for festivals, conferences, forums, and uh, you know we we don't have enough spaces for that. It should be supported for sure. This is what I'm advising the mayor right now. Uh, but it's a good place because geographically we are in a ni very nice spot. So what we need is uh, to think about the transportation, about the flights, etc. So the part of it is gonna. I, I hope that it's gonna. So and uh, definitely food. This is one of the things that. Actually, w w when you eat Georgian food, you kind of connect to Asia and to Europe also, and it's united here. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that Hinkali is a Georgian one. I, I'm pretty sure that somebody will kill me for this, but it was united here in a way, right? So I think that the, the area of uh, gastronomy generally and Georgian cuisine, and not only, but like generally regional uh, cuisine, is amazing and uh, there are so many possibilities but we need to be very innovative in this field we need new ideas about that we need to position the city actually you know that Tbilisi is not positioned at all have you ever seen any Edwards about Tbilisi I don't think so because we we are uh, advertising Georgia but not particular uh, the capital and at this, uh, at this time we have I think uh, 2.5 days are spending our visitors we want to to grow this number so talking about the um, talking about the uh, tourism, you know, this this is the one of the most important uh, income sources right now in Georgia. So for that, we need to be very unique, very special, uh, extraordinary. Because don't forget that Turkey is very close to us. There are lots of uh, attractions and destinations. So we need to find some spark there, something new about that. And for this, I think, the, and the nights are helping a lot because people coming to Georgia, they are spending part of the day, like they are leaving the city, going to Mtsheta or Gudauri, but nightlife could provide the platform for visitors to spend more money. So this is one of the aspects that we will stress, uh, emphasize uh, during the next year. So thank you very much. I'm very, uh, I'm really looking forward for your presentations. And if you have any questions, I will stay here and just join us anytime. Thank you very much one more time. <laughs>